People ask me about how I print unused and used barcode labels in my Dymo label writer. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. So it, once you're in Destiny, you're going to click on reports. And then if you go into library reports, one of the first reports that you can run is barcode list. So this will give you um, some list of unused and used barcode labels. So I already have mine, but if you need this, you can go ahead and do so here. Um, and after you finish that, you'll know what is used and what is available if you need to print unused labels. So if you need to print labels, you'll go down to barcode labels. Um, and you have some options here. The first is section is for used barcodes. So you would pick how many labels you wanted for each barcode and then how you want your file to be sorted. Um, so maybe you want your file to be sorted by the author and then the title or maybe by the barcode number itself. And you can select by list. Um, so if you're looking through your collection and you have a list of things that you need, you can um, go that I keep a list. If you look here, I have a new books list. Um, so for some reason, if I needed to print barcodes for those, which I won't because I already have them, but if I did, I could just print for that whole list. Copy category, category um, a barcode list. So that would um, allow you to type in the barcodes that you need. So say you have four or five books that are sitting that need new barcodes, you can um, enter those in and it'll regenerate them for you. Um, you could do a range. Maybe you need um, to replace all the barcodes for books from a certain range. Or you could go by the date and time that the copies were added. So if you added a bunch of books um, like last week and you needed new um, barcodes you could do that from here um, but let's go back to list and I'll just pick my new books list since I have that um, and you can select different materials so if you needed a particular um, material you could do so and then you also can pick between your circulation types temporary copies, and then what do you want on each barcode. So you can put your site name or your district name, title, author, and call number. And then down here, if you were going to print on label stock, you have your choices. So if you were doing regular address labels or whatnot, running them through your printer, you would do that. Or if you needed to export to export to Excel, um, which is what you need to do if you're going to print with a diamond label writer, you're going to select that option. So I'm going to go ahead and hit run report just so we can see. And it takes a minute, so there we go. So here I have my report that I ran. And there are my barcodes. I'm going to go ahead and min minimize that and go back to print copy barcodes so I can show you the unused method. So if you need a certain number of barcodes, let's say you have five new books that you need, um, you could put in ne five new books that you need barcodes for. Sorry, it is like 6.58 this morning and I'm not quite awake yet. So if I have a list of unused barcodes here that I'm going to just pull from, um, four, eight, two, three. So I can include site name on there, which I always do. And then it, if I am printing on label stock, there's that option. And then there's also export to Excel. So run report. Um, and then yes. In order to get your um, label file into your software, you're going to hit file and then you're going to hit import data and print. So if you go to new, um, it gives you some instructions. So you can see that you need to select your data file, label layout, and then arrange, and then select the data to print. So um, I'm going to select my unused barcodes file, and that is in my downloads folder. So here we go. And then you're going to select the sheet or table that you're using. So that is the table. 
And then you need to go in here and you need to change the layout. So the Miss Bishop, that was the last label I printed. I had another librarian visiting me and um, I was just showing her how this thing works because she is doing her labels on a typewriter right now. And I'm like, girl, you got to change that. So if you go up here, I picked the simple asset label. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit Next. So you need to add your site name here. Oops, it would help if I could spell it. It's pretty early in the morning. So you're going to use the first row as field names. And then in this section, that is where your barcode number is going to go. So if you look at this preview, um, the barcode is listed underneath. Um, so that is the first barcode in my range here. So if I hit next, it gives me the data that I want to print. Um, so I have the option to print one or to print all of them. And I also can save the data and layout. And then there is my printer. I really love this printer. The only thing that I would change would be I would get the one that holds two rolls so I could print two different sizes or, you know, I wouldn't have to change out the, um, the label sizes when I'm going from printing barcode labels to spine labels. That would be my only change. But I'm going to hit cancel because I don't need to print these. And then I will show you this. Um, if I go to file, import data, and print, I have this list that I have kept in here. Um, so when I need to print a random um, new barcode, I went ahead and imported a whole bunch. And I keep a list in Evernote. Um, as I use one, I you know scratch it off. So if I just needed to print my next one, I would just select it and hit print. And then it's just as simple as that. So I hope this video was helpful. If anyone has any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you.